Second Stepper by P. Kenny. So, when you stop, time stops. Help your partner. WASD and mouse. Simple enough. Very nice, very concise, very explanatory. That's how you do it right there. You don't need to say much sometimes. You just say the little things. Help! Okay, so that's my partner. And I just helped him. I think I just gave him his helmet or something. So, wait, am I... I'm controlling two people at the same time? Interesting. Get both to the stairs. Okay. Depth one. So right now, time doesn't move at all. I don't aim my gun at all. Nothing happens whatsoever. But second I make a step, this guy starts moving. Uh, and he... Fire... Okay, you can even see his bullet. Wow, okay. So if you time it just right, you can... Yeah, you can thread the needle on those bullets. I think he just shot my bullet with his bullet. That's cheating. Only I'm supposed to be able to do that. But that gives me an idea. Shoot their bullets with my bullets. I like it. Oh, what are these things? Oh, my bullets don't go that far, do they? I wonder why that is. I've never been a fan of the idea of bullet drop-off like that. Now, it feels weird that they move... Uh, this reminds me a lot of Zelda. You, a lot of that one part in Zelda, where that one enemy that will follow your movements exactly, but usually opposite. I don't know why, but it seems weird to have them both like that. I'd almost prefer it if you could somehow have different keys to control them, or control one of them at a time. Because right now it feels like i got to kind of mash them up in there. And now... Like, I don't know, I assume this one's got to be the one, because this was the original me, this one's got to be the one that picks something up, so uh, I don't know what any of these are doing, though. Some kind of tips would be nice, if only because I know you might just want me to go by what they look like and then know what they look like for the next game, but unfortunately, they are not very distinct looking. They are very minimalist, so that's not going to work too well, unless you can make them more defined. Like, this This is white blob, I'm going to think it's like a hat or something, this is... Uh, Red Blob, it's like Mr. Red Spaceship, and this is Blue Blob, which I'm going to think of as Mr. Welder Mask, because that totally looks kind of like a welder mask and a mock, ma a smock. But we're going to take Mr. Bread Blob. Oh, eh, look at that. It's a grenade launcher, a rocket launcher. Wow, I totally should have checked that before. Just keep, keep that information up there. There's no reason to have me walk over it to find out. Just keep it up there. There we go. But either way, SMG, Burst and Weights. Uh, secondary one, depth rocket launcher, splash, uh, splash damage, press E to swap, and a grenade launcher, bounce and splash, the bounce sounds handy as hell actually, uh, we're gonna take the grenade launcher, so this is my secondary, so I assume right click, yeah, definitely right click, so how well does this thing bounce, I only get one shot with it, don't I, probably per floor, all right, let's see. This was a bad plan. Oh, this was a very bad plan. At least I can't shoot my own partner. That's that's a plus. But I gotta watch his back too, because I gotta make sure he doesn't get in a really bad spot like he is right now. Actually, we're both in really bad spots right now. No! Damn you, horrible, horrible boy. So at least I can save him whenever he dies which was introduced in the beginning of the game, which is a big plus to me. Just... uh-oh. Thank goodness he's a bad shot. It is nice. I do like the cooperation tactics, though. You can actually... Although I feel like they could be tactics even better if I could just control them more finely, you know? If I could control them independent of one another. Could really open up a lot of strategies. Get the red one. No, I didn't get the red pointy one. And I'm not going to lie, some music would not hurt. I'm not saying it's needed, because you're definitely going for the minimalistic, uh, I'd almost say DOS-like feel, and a lot of DOS games did not have music. So, more power to you if you want to stick with that aesthetic, but I've always been a fan of music. Then again, somebody could just listen to their own music while they're playing. Just not me, because copyrights. Now, I notice it's click to play. I just want to press spacebar there to keep playing. All right, so get the red one, apparently. Wait, what's this one? This is new and exciting. Barrel extension increases range. Okay, that's actually a pretty big plus. Does that only affect the person I give it to? Okay. Uh, let's do this, then. We're going to give him the... No, we're going to give me the barrel extension. Even though they're both me, and I literally control them the exact same way and everything, white and red guy up here always seems to be a little higher north. Which is handy. Uh, that was a shield, huh? Yeah, that's what that was. Let's do this. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I died. <laughs> so real time and simulated time. That's a nice little uh, thing right there. That'd be cool for speedrunners. We're gonna do that again. It's, it's a neat concept. You really gotta partner up with yourself. Some of the enemies you can kind of do real quickly. Some of them you really gotta think through. Uh, that was some straight asteroids crap right there. Can I just... Yup, I can just not even care about him. Alright, what do we got here? A rifle. Long but slow. Shotgun. Oh, I'm a shotgun guy. Sorry. Sorry, rocket launcher. Shotgun for me. Uh, he already has a pistol, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see how quickly I regret this decision. Oh, crap. He already died. But, that's pretty cool. Look at that. You can actually see how long it takes for me to uh, reload, basically, with this thing. That's nice. Now, it'd be nice if there was some way I could fire with just one of them, but I guess it really doesn't... No, it does matter, because in this case, I just want to use the uh, his pistol, because it's going to be back up a lot quicker. But I might need to save the shotgun for later, so I can't aim in two different directions. I have to choose who I want to shoot with what. So, yeah, it'd, it'd be nice, but, uh-oh. So, like, right... Oh, shotguns. You gotta love shotguns. Oh, okay, he's got a long shot. Eh, take him out before... Nope, he still didn't come back. So, I'm just... Am I just reattaching his head? I figured it was, like, his helmet, but... That's very much his head. Just putting his head back on his body. That's what bros do. Okay, let's see. Choose one. Uh, SMG, burst in weight, rifle, long but slow, hi -yo. and a grenade launcher. We're going to give him the grenade launcher. I do love the concept of them having their own weapons, though. That's pretty neat. That's really neat, actually. Really gives the term playing with yourself a whole new meaning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Crap. Those guys are tough. That's a good question. Can you ignore all the enemies? Well, I can certainly try, but then there's enemies like that that just move quicker than I will, so can't ignore them, really, unless you can find a way around them. But it is a valid tactic. That'd be a fun uh, speedrunner tactic. Uh, these pistols actually shoot really quick. Alright, what do we got here? SMG, barrel extension, and rifle. Let's get the barrel extension. See how that plays out for me. Remember, the white guy's got the barrel extension. Now, I know I can just hold spacebar to wait. I was told that. I can press any button to wait, so I don't have to be moving to make things happen. I just need to press a button. Eh, barrel extension's good, not great. Goes a little further. So this is actually another game where you didn't need to, but you made it in single screen form. That seems to be uh, kind of your style, huh, buddy? It certainly works for you. You don't need a lot if you know uh, what you're going for. It's almost a minimalistic style. Rifle, long but slow. Oh, speed boots move faster. I feel like that'd really get them out of sync, though, so I think I'm going to forego the speed boots, as handy as they might end up being. Uh, we're going to get the rifle on him. Yeah, wow, that's, ooh, that is very slow. But hopefully the range is long. Yeah, it looks pretty long. Thread the needle. Haha, <laughs> I feel like the Matrix is in here. Ah, shoot. Shoot! I have the ability to stop time, I need to get used to that. I can avoid these bullets if I just try. It's like, it's in my human nature to try to just dodge bullets as quickly as I can, but by doing that, I'm drastically increasing my chance of getting shot. I need to just stop moving and plan it all out. There it is. Eh, we can just ignore that guy. There we go. I'm sure that others exist, but this is the only game I can think of where I play as two people at the same exact time. 
Uh, what is that? And how quickly can I? Oh, I can't kill it. I don't know what that was, but was it? Wait, was that a ninja? Did I, did I just see a ninja? You know what? I don't want. I don't want to mess with no ninjas. I'm out of here. Ninjas, frightening. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay, getting the heck out of here. Still have that grenade launcher, don't I? Nope. That was the last game. It'd be nice if, uh, cause you got all this free space right here. It'd be nice if somewhere it just had like an inventory of each person. Like one guy on the left, one guy on the right or something. You got the space. You might as well use it, you know? Ain't gonna hurt. Hang on. Nope. Eh, yeah, I got him. Boom. Double teamed. Get him too while we're at it. Nope. Whatever. He lives to fight another day. Uh, here's a grenade launcher. I'm going to put it on my primary, dude. Brothers, that's good. Oh, this game has a real end. Really? Interesting to know. There's a ninja. Anyway, yeah, you're right. Brothers does have a, a mechanic where you can control two people at the same exact time. I just never played it. I've been told I should. I heard it's like my kind of game, but... I think that's offensive. How do you know what my kind of game is? You don't know my kind of game. Just because you watch me play games for so long. Nailed him. But the ninja's still out there. Ninja's dead. I like the ninja. Does he only show up when he gets close to you? That's a cool idea because it really makes you stop time to make sure you're safe. If he gets close to you, you're going to have to stop time in order to have any chance of living. So like right here, I want to shoot two different targets with my two different characters. But I can't. But I don't really know how you'd implement something like that without really breaking the flow of the game. So that's a tough one, admittedly. Still would be nice. It's probably a pipe dream. I think there was a ninja up there. No, he ain't there. Wish I didn't waste my grenade launcher. Oh, crap. Oh, ninja. Oh, ninja, ninja, ninja. Oh, bullets. I'm going to find the end of this game. I was just told there is one. Uh-oh. That's a shotgun. And I just got in close range. Ow. Thank God all it takes to survive is someone to sew your head back to your body. All right, what do we got here today? Shotgun. Uh, which one of us has the pistol anyway? It's, uh, my, my main. Yeah, my main dude has the pistol. I almost want to keep it, because it's just good to have something that's not on cooldown at all times. So, we're gonna go ahead and hold on to that, actually. Pistol's very good for ninjas. I'm coming to realize that very quickly, just because I don't have to worry about cooldowns. If a, ca if a ninja catches me off guard, and I have, like, a cooldown going on, I'm screwed. But the pistol, pistol don't care. Ah! Get over here. Ninjas. Nailed him! I feel like the ninja's right around this corner. Aha! Caught ya. It's a bad ninja. So, so far I'm not commenting that much. That's because this game is just, it's a combination of really good strategic, uh, a really good strategic game, and just a generally fun game. It's already got a lot going for it. There is a boss. Wait, what? What is this? Shield absorbs one mess. Huh. One mess, you say? It's also the only animated item I've ever seen. Ooh, that's why it's animated. Me gusta. I'm not sure if that was supposed to say one miss, but that's definitely not what it said. Ah, I saw that coming. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm so glad I gave one of them a rifle. The rifle is definitely a good way to go. So I was saying before how I didn't like fall off, uh, like bullet fall off or anything like that. I can definitely get over it if there are weapons that don't have it like this, so then it's just a balancing mechanic. That's totally fine if that's the case. And 
this game has done a good job of making me okay with having bullet range. So apparently the shield was a freebie. I thought it was going to be one hit you could take for every depth, but apparently no, that was not the case. Whoops. So in other words, I didn't get an upgrade, I just kind of skipped it. That was not my intention. Still, rifle's doing me fine. I don't really need much more, I'm fine with the pistol. The pistol and the rifle are a pretty good combo. You get the rapid fire, and you get the long range. Alright, so, the shield's a freebie, I know that now. What's the other things here? SMG, nope. Rocket launcher, nope. Rifle, nope. I want none of those. I think I have the combo right here. Alright, boss is after... Oh my goodness, that's not the boss? What? What is that thing? That's the thing I saw at the beginning of the game. Which can only be bad. Oh wow, it seems to take a few shots. By which I mean, I don't think it breaks. Well, I mean, maybe if it hits the walls enough, it'll break. I should not be anywhere near that thing. Damn you and your rifle! I'm just gonna not fight that. Okay, sounds like a plan. So they're just uh, in all the floors now. Uh-oh. Ah, dang, you got hit by some shrapnel. Mmm. It bounces off enemies, too. It also pushes enemies, so that's kind of a... Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. I see my death. And it looks bad. Oh. Wow, shotgun really has no range. But that thing is going to murder me. But hey, it also helps. Thank you, weird spaceship thingy. I thought you were my enemy. But you were not. Yes, you are. Oh my god, yes, you really are. <laughs> you were totally my enemy. Wow. So apparently depth 30 is where things get real. And I came pretty close. Depth 22. This is a cool little free game. A uh, cool little neat free game. I don't know if it's going to be free forever, but this, uh, this alpha version I got my hands on is very nice. Wow. Oh, uh, Second Stepper by P. Kenny, a.k.a. Savage Hill. Thank you so much for sending this game forward. This was a part of the 7-day roguelike challenge, but it has since been upgraded substantially. I believe the developer continues wants to continue working on it, so if you have any feedback for him, he would love to hear it. Thank you so much for pushing this forward.